A common function of Manufacturing Resource Planners, or ERPs, is to compute estimated project revenue. Now, standard time is no exception, which we'll see in a minute. And for this video, we'll assume that most of the projects or work orders going through your manufacturing shop have life cycles. In other words, they start, and they end, and they have some estimated revenue. Turns out that's the exact information needed to chart revenue for coming months. Let's examine the project revenue bar chart in standard time. This is a nice little chart you get for free just by using project tasks in your manufacturing projects. All right, let's switch over and get a look. Here in standard time, we see a nice little bar chart that shows project revenue on a month to month basis. You can look at it for all projects or a specific project or by folder, portfolio, or other criteria like whether you've won or lost certain projects. You can look at it for a certain client and then choose a time period for the bars. Now, real nice, but where does the information come from? Well, let's take a look and find out. Let's go ahead and close this, go over to the tools menu, choose projects. We'll click on a project and then scroll down, you'll see a start and finish date and then an estimated cost. So the bars are getting the information spread across the duration of the project and the value of the project. You can either enter these values manually or find that they update automatically from your project tasks. So as you add tasks, edit tasks, drag and drop on the Gantt chart, those values will be fed up to the project level and then ultimately into the tools project records, which you see here. So now when you go to the view menu, choose project revenue, you'll see the revenue for each month of the projects in your operation.